Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll get warmed up with the match function. Equals match. The first argument is the lookup value. In this case, the input cell C13. The next argument is the month list, the named reference month underscore list. Zero for exact match and enter. Next, use data validation on the input cell to restrict entry to valid months. Allow a list equal to month underscore list. Now, let's pick a different month and ensure everything works as expected. Okay? Hey, looks good. Exercise 2. In this exercise, we'll see how the standard VLOOKUP function breaks when a column is inserted between the lookup and return columns. First, name the lookup range DEPT underscore lookup. Now, let's write the report formulas. Equals VLOOKUP. We're trying to look up our department number in the department underscore lookup range. Return the value from the manager column, which is the one, two, three, fourth column, and zero for exact match. Push the formula down, and everything looks good. That is, until we insert a new column. Let's insert a new column between D and E. Ah, as we can see, the report is now broken. In the next exercise, we'll address this issue with the match function. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll improve VLOOKUP with match. Start by naming the lookup range, departments. Next, name the header row, fields. The report formulas are next. Equals VLOOKUP. Look up the department number in the department's range. Return the value from the manager column, the fourth column and zero for exact match. Now, we'll replace that static third argument with the match function. Edit the formula, and instead of expressing the third argument with an integer four, we'll ask the match function to figure out the column number. So, we match the header in the fields range and zero for exact match. The match function will determine the relative position number of the field header and will return this value to the VLOOKUP function. Hit enter. Looks good. Fill the formula down and we've got it. Now for the big test. Let's insert a new column between D and E. Insert column and looks good. Using a match function as the third VLOOKUP argument will increase the reliability of the formula. Exercise 4. In this exercise, we'll write a consistent lookup formula that works throughout the report range. Start by converting the department list to a table. Name the table TBL underscore DEPTS. Now, let's write the report formulas. Equals VLOOKUP. We look up the department ID. Since we are going to fill the formula down and to the right, we need to lock down the column reference. The lookup range is the department's table. We use the match function to determine which value to return. We match the report column header and lock down the row reference in the department table's header row and use the tbl underscore department's headers structured table reference and zero for exact match. Close the paren and comma. Next is the final argument of the VLOOKUP function, which will be zero for exact match. Hit enter. Looks good. Now let's fill the formula down and to the right. Okay, we look good. Extra credit one. In this exercise, we'll allow the user to pick the report column. First, highlight the table's header row and assign the custom name dd underscore fields. Next, use data validation on the input cell. Allow a list equal to dd underscore fields. Now the user can pick the column. While we're on the input cell, notice that it was previously named field underscore selected. 
In the report, we pulled down the column label by setting it equal to the input cell. Excel inserts the cell's name, field underscore selected. The report formula is equal to VLOOKUP. We look up the department ID in the TBL extra credit table. We use the match function to figure out which column to return. We match the selected field from the DD underscore fields range and zero for exact match. We finish out the VLOOKUP function with a zero for exact match and hit enter. We fill the formula down. Now, let's change the selected report column. Hey, looking good. This video is a production of Click